Hello everyone, Zuzi Gaming here and welcome to Sea of Thieves. So you just started to play this game. In this video I'm gonna show you some useful tips that will help you through your journey. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so you will not miss any of the future videos. Let's start. To decrease reload for your sniper rifle, tap double X after shooting. Never drop anchor for docking, just raise the sail. After parking your ship nose heading towards the land, drop the sail just a bit so ship will not move from its spot. Constantly check Pirate Emporium for free stuff, for example this hide emote that will hide your nickname from enemies to help you in some PvP situations. or this useless emote that nobody needs. Character size matters. Remember the hide animation that I just showed you? Skinnier your character is, bit harder for enemy to notice your character if you're hiding inside textures or behind objects. But your hitbox will be the same as the big character. If you want to make a quick 180 degrees turn with your ship while moving at full speed, do this. Turn the wheel completely to the left or right depend which direction you want to turn at. Drop the anchor and as soon as it drops, raise it again. This action is much more easier to perform in a sloop and you will need more players to raise the anchor in bigger ships. Did you get your hide emote? Great! Let me show you a good hiding spot on a ship. Follow me. This spot, we're going up the ladders, we're on top of the mast, dropping, and hiding right here behind the mast. A really sneaky spot. If you're on enemy ship, easiest way to destroy the mass is aiming one of the cannons 90 degrees up, firing the chain shot. Power jump is the most popular life hack for the players. If you're at the edge of the cliff or an object, by performing this attack it will launch your character to the further distance. Hold your left click and fly. To dig a bit faster, tap double X. You can sink enemy ship from outside with bucket of water. Grab a bucket. And after you throw water, tap double X to speed up the process. Repeat. Riddles will tell you how many steps to take towards treasure chest. To count your character's steps accurately, hold left click when you have compass in hand and listen each step.
Cooked fish gives most amount of HP. This can be useful in PvP moments. How to catch a fish, get to the water source, doesn't matter if you're on a moving ship or not. Throw the rod. Use double VST instead of mouse. It will be easier. Pull the rod towards opposite direction where fish is swimming at. Only use keyboard when you're making fish tired. When you notice the tension at the end of the rod is gone, that means fish is not pulling anymore. Now you can hold left click. Repeat the process until you catch it. Go to the cooking spot, all ships have them. Wait until fish gets a bit darker and store it. How to eliminate that annoying fire that won't get off? You probably had moments where you're accurately aiming towards fire with bucket of water, splashing the water at it, but it won't go off because weird hitboxes. Fear no more. Grab the bucket, jump in the middle of blazing flame, tap right click. It will extinguish both you and the fire underneath your character in cost of little health. Here's a method that will add one level to the faction you want. Go to this lady, enter to this section, here are the letters, choose one and get the extra level. These letters will unlock once a month. After you power launch, your character will be stunned for 2 seconds to cancel that, do the power launch and if you have any interactable asset next to you, for example a cannon or ladder, press F by looking at it and it will cancel the stun. So you can continuously fight with the enemies. Here is another popular life hack for lazy pirates. If you have chest or barrel in your hands and want to swim faster, repeat this X Shift F key combo. If you want to power launch a bit further, hold right click and just after you launch, press space. Same as the rod, aim with the cans by using WSD, it will save you from additional effort. A quick way to find how many players have emissary flag on them in your server, go to the each faction table and you'll see these tiny ship models, each one of them presents a single ship. Max out the field of view in a gameplay settings. You'll have better awareness of surrounding. So guys, that was it. Don't forget to give a like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Good luck in your adventure.